hey hey my pretty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am i'm silky if you do thanks for returning now for the ones that just got here don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so anytime i do new upload you will be the first person to know now you've seen it in the title below why we're here but before we go on hit that like button hit that subscribe button yes and leave a comment tell me what kind of content you guys are wanting tell me what you guys are looking for from me so i can try and give it to you guys all right now like i said you already seen what this video is about you already see how this face is beat <laughs> Yeah, you see that little ooh? <laughs> yes, honey. You already know. You already know why we're here. Now, if you guys are wondering about the hair, this is Shade Slay's hair. I'm gonna leave her information right here. She does custom wigs. She sells the hair to you if you don't want her to do you custom wig. I've been having this hair for about at least three years now, and it's been lasting. And yes, it's not a full lace, it's only a U part. If you guys are wondering how to do the U part installs, let me know in the description box below so I can do a video for you guys on that. All right, so yeah, like I said, we are here with this foundation routine made just for summer so that we don't be out here dripping. Okay, we'll be dripping with gold and diamonds, not fucking sweat, okay? We wanna be <laughs> looking nice and matte. So if you guys really wanna see how I came up with this summer fresh face, something that's gonna last through the sun and the summertime on my skin tone and on my skin type, all you have to do is keep on watching. Let's get straight into this video. All right, you guys, like you see in the title below and in my intro, as you already know, we are going to do a quick summer easy foundation routine something that stands up to the heat and to the sun so let's just go ahead and get started i already got my hair pulled back i already did my brows for my brows i did go with my anastasia brow definer this is in the shade ebony and then i also went in with this brow tint it's like a gel type of it makes your brows stiff and make them stay you do your brows and then you go ahead and you put it on to make the brows stick up and stay where you want them and to clean it up, I went in with my Born This Way concealers in the shade Chai and in the shade Caramel. These are the ones that I use. The brush that I did use today was my Morphe M124 brush. I love this brush. It's really small, but at the same time, it does the job. It takes a little bit more time, but it, it gets the work done. Hold that thought. I'm hot. Since it's summertime, oh, don't go in with a moisturizer, blase, blase, blase. You don't have to, but just a tad. Not as much as you would, like this. Not even that, let me take a little bit more off. Like this much. Not as much as you would use on a normal day, just a tiny bit. Especially if you just like exfoliate it, or if you feel like your skin's dry. And just remember, just because you have oily skin doesn't mean your skin is is on point, it's perfect. Oily skin needs moisturizers too. And for anybody over 30, make sure you get right up under those eyes, honey. Prevent them bags. If it's not a money bag, we don't need it. All right, and push that into the skin, okay? I do have a new product here. Well, new to the channel, but not new to the makeup world. Um, I've been having it since it came out. I'm just like, when am I going to use it? I don't know if I want to use it. But this is the Plumped to the Max um, Lip Plumper and also a Plumping Face Primer. So it's like a dual, which is, you know, pretty cool. I did try it out for you guys one time. It really does fill in. It fills, your, it fills out those, you know, where those bags are, basically. This is amazing. Yeah, this is what the product looks like. It comes with the lip plumper. This is to the max lip plumper. And this is the actual primer. She's really cute, you guys. Like, so classy. And it has a pump, which is nice. So this is the actual primer we're going to go on with today. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, on, the, on my hand first so I can see what it looks like. That first pump, I get rid of it. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my T-zone area. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't have like a super burning sensation because I don't remember when I put it on. But all I can remember when I did put it on 
is that it did like I don't know and it smell it smells good it's not really really strong but you can tell there's something in it you know but it's not really really strong yeah I'm just gonna put just a bit on so we put it in our t-zone and we're just gonna go outward with it it feels really good it's like I said it smells good really good I like stuff that actually smell good just hope that it's not too strong of a smell which is it's not that bad now if you don't like that one or if that's something that you wouldn't use you can always trade it out or go in with the hangover um rx this one is amazing especially with their foundation like it's bomb like i said this is a summertime look right this is something that we need to do for summer we want to look snatched we want to look good we don't want to sweat everywhere i go on with this this is the pour blurring and mattifying face primer this is really good to put over your primers or even to um set under your eyes like baby so i actually go in this with this also to mattify whatever i put down i'm just using my e uh 63 brush because that's the brush i'm going to use to put my foundation down yeah i can feel the i can feel the tingling i can just uh, just a bit while we're here, we're going to go ahead and go in between those brows to make them fade out some more at the front. I want to look at it and see what she's doing. I, like, this stuff really blurs. Like, it doesn't, it, it really blurs, okay? This really, really blurs out those pores. It's just amazing. So, I do suggest that item to you guys. All right, now, let's say foundation right you don't want to go in with a regular foundation for the summertime that's anyone I don't care what kind of skin you have so I wouldn't do it I wouldn't suggest you guys do it so I will go in with a mattifying primer I mean I will go in with a mattifying foundation this one is also born this way 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation and I wouldn't say it's 24 hours but it is a good ass foundation like it transfers but not a lot not as much as your other typical you know foundation so this one is pretty pretty amazing and I got mine in butter I got mine in butter pecan this is what she's looking like this is the bottle and she also has a pump top so I have went ahead and already put mine down on a surface I did about three pumps because that's what I like to go in with if you don't like the color that is showing up on your face, mix it with some concealer. Like, concealer is your best friend in the um in the summertime. I'm not going to even lie. So this is the shade. I did put a couple of pumps of, I believe, Spice Rum. I, bit, I put a couple of pumps of um, chai with it so it can match me even better. That's just something that I like to do. I want to make sure it is as mattifying as possible. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go in here and put this on. And mind you, this is, this that I'm putting on is three pumps, you guys. I know I'm being a little extra with the brush, but who cares? I usually go in and conceal, but um, I want you to guys have your first impression without putting any product down or under with this foundation because it is mattifying most of the time when mattifying foundations they tend to um, cover up a little bit better I don't know why that is but they do so yeah right now we have one pump one and like I said I'm gonna use that same e63 brush and we're gonna go ahead and just blend this out at this point you can go in with a mattifying spray but that's if you don't have a mattifying uh, powder or primer so let's go ahead and start blending her out. Look at that color, you guys. And look at that coverage. Amazing. This is my favorite foundation. This is why I'm using this. I'm sorry, you guys. I am trying to find my favorite drugstore foundation, but I have not found one because when I get them, it usually breaks me out and I don't know why that is so sorry guys 
but if you guys know of one let me know let me know down in the comments okay kind of drag it down the neck too I kind of have a darker neck you know so I have to go in with that foundation I put on my face and put on my neck all right you guys bear with me we are getting to the next one okay I'm gonna go ahead and go on with a sponge this one is I believe the Sonia Tatcha sponge this is from Target I'm gonna use this and I like to just go in I like how big it is because I just like to even everything out and get any product that didn't want to stay on the face and yes I did wet her and squeeze her out really really good all right this is what you want to do this is a necessary step we don't want extra foundation where it doesn't need to be all right and that's what she looks like now at this point I want to go ahead and go back in with with chai and this is where I um, color correct I have darkness here and right across my nose and on the sides of my lips so that's where I'm going to color correct at I like to use one that is more toward my skin tone that's when you're color correcting on top and across the nose that's typically where I have an issue I don't really have to worry about under the eyes or right I have one right here okay and a trick to color correcting is to kind of let that dry down a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and just let it you know get a little bit dry all right so now we're gonna find a brush to actually blend this out with I'm gonna actually use the same where is it I'm gonna use the same brush that I use to blend out my brows with and I'm gonna give it a nice clean off I want it to be you know as clean as I can get it I'm gonna go in with the M173 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this in because once you pat it in you're gonna go ahead and go in with your foundation brush again see how I just it blended into that color so well and around the mouth all right let's go back into that foundation brush and just go ahead and mix and really flatten it out and make sure there's no line of demarcation we want to make sure that it's blended out very well <clears throat> let's go ahead and highlight okay so first one I'm gonna go on with is caramel yes it's really light but I love it and I'm gonna take that in the inner part of my eye like so and on the sides of my nose and I'm gonna stop it right there that's it for me that is so perfect for me now what's remainder on there I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center of my chin like so and on my forehead and then down the nose as thin as possible okay so that's that one now we're gonna go ahead and go into chai it's this one here let me show you a trick that I've been doing since I've been doing makeup I feel like your face is just not one flat color you have to go in with a few colors you know we're gonna go ahead and take this and put it on the outer part of caramel kind of in like a a V shape of your face make sure you bring that up and toward the lip and, and out like so I hope you guys can see this is really like my skin color which is perfect and then I take and I put it on the edges for my forehead just like that and I do the same thing with my chin just like swoop swoop round okay and that is what I do for that. All right, now I'm gonna go on I'm going with Sable. Sable, right? Sable, this is this one here. It's a darker one. I don't really con um, cream contour, but I'm gonna show you guys something here. It's a good trick. Now you wanna clean off this, especially if it's a really, really dark color. This color is like really, really chocolatey. So I wanna put it up high, just a stroke, just like that, just like that nothing more and I like to take it under my chin that's why I really have this shade is for under is for my chin and then I'll blend backwards like so 
I don't know if you can see the difference, but it did make a good shadow. It is a good, good color for shadow. Then I also take it under my lip. We didn't come here to play, we came here to slay, period. So you can take it down your nose if you'd like to, but mm, that's not something I do. I'd rather powder contour than, you know, than actually um, cream contour. So at this point, let's go ahead and dry it up a little bit. Now, it's just figuring out what brushes really work for you when blending these products out. Now, the Real Technique brushes are amazing for this. Like, I wouldn't recommend any other brush for, for blending out concealers. They, they just, they do the job. They're synthetic brushes and it doesn't pick up as much product as you would think. It lets that product lay, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my RT Real Techniques 402 brush and I want to start here I want to start right here on this outer corner and I want to pat that out you want to more so pat okay and take the and remainder on your top lip and do the other side the same way and on the outer part down here not too too much yet but just a tad and I'm gonna tell you why the reason why we're doing this shade first that way this doesn't look too bright then you go ahead and give her a wipe off on a paper towel or a cloth right now we're gonna go ahead and start on the edges of this edges because like I said it has that other color in there see that how it's giving you that doo -doo -doo, those three colors you always want to start on the edges of every color that you use and bring it out I didn't even do much and it looks like I did and then I like to go down here because I like my chin to be super bright okay then I go to my forehead why because I don't have a really big forehead to be even highlighting in the first place effortlessly see how quick that was it was quick it was fast and it was easy now I want you to go ahead and clean that brush off again you don't have to go in with a million brushes you just you clean your brushes that is like the best thing for you is to just clean them brushes because when it has a little bit of the other product on there it makes everything looks a little bit more effortlessly you know so now we're gonna go ahead and start at the inner corner and pat it outward under the eye just like that and then down okay and then we're going to start blending downward and up to snatch the face up and down okay that's what we do see how it didn't take much to blend because you already did all the work it's like you're letting the makeup do the work for you okay like baby and then let's start blending the rest toward the middle of the nose and if you see some spots that you need think need some highlighting go ahead and go in with it you're not it's not gonna kill you you know now let's start up here in the middle and let's just pat that out we don't want to pat it nowhere we just want to pat it down the nose down the nose pat it down the nose okay and then I also like to get in the inner part of my eye just to make everything look cohesive just like that and then kind of pat the rest that way because I want to keep that shadow that I already have up there I don't want it to be too brightened up too light okay so yeah so that's the concealer same brush don't play with me same brush right where you put that contour pat it out this product doesn't dry up fast on you it is a perfect product but you can see my natural line this is why I don't really cream contour you can see my natural um, contour line but this is for you ladies you know I'm doing this for y'all okay so now take that same brush 
and a blend right under here. Just kind of go back and forth with it. And you want to make sure you blend down here. Snatch up that chin. Okay, honey. Snatch all that. It, they, I'm telling you, this is my favorite concealer, my favorite foundation. If I had to say I love another foundation, it would probably be it would be the Fenty. That would be my second favorite. And my second concealer that's my favorite is the Tarte Tape Shade. If I had to choose a third, it would be the Juvia's Place Foundation and Concealer. And then after that would be the Morphe um, Full Effect Foundation. And then now you want to take that sponge and we're going to kind of do this. You want to go from here to here. From here to here. And across here. reason I do it that way is because for some reason it makes everything go in so well together all right so now that we have that down okay so this is the born this way setting powder in translucent medium let me show you guys what it looks like I know you guys are probably like oh my gosh using all these expensive products I promise you these products are worth the money and I'm not about to go outside with some foundation that's gonna slip off or brown that's gonna what is the point if you're gonna pay for something I feel like go ahead and pay for it if you really love it get it this one is more like a honey color okay so we're gonna take that same brush but a different one and we're gonna saturate that brush in that powder right we're gonna take it and we're gonna go first we're gonna go right under the eyes start at the inner corner and bring out like so you want to set it you can already see the difference and then you want to set the rest of it you can actually set your whole face with this color if it's close to your skin tone that is up to you it's your preference I like to use setting powders that match my skin tone because if I go in with a light concealer I know this will cancel out all that lightness take this all across the nose all the way across it doesn't matter all the way across the nose all on your nose the whole nose mute the nose out like my kids say okay then you want to take that around the mouth and above your lip and then on your chin all right see last but not least would be the forehead you just want to really get rid of that shine and fill in the pores because that's what the powder does the powders really fill in your pores shake that brush off and dust especially on the nose just dust it away you feel like you put too much dust it away just that simple another trick is to take that powder and place it on the brows make those brows really stay all day long I like to go heavy toward the beginning of the brow and then pat it on the rest of the brow just like so I'm gonna go ahead and go on with this Anastasia powder bronzer in mahogany so I'm gonna take my e56 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go into that product this product has a lot of fallout so you have to be careful with it and we're gonna go ahead and contour that face first you want to press it into the skin we don't want to go in there and move the products around if they're not set it's about setting everything that you put down if you set everything you put down your makeup will stand way longer than it would if you did not put down anything I think I should take my scarf off at this point all right and take that right around that area and we also want to set this there's no point in putting it down if you're not going to set it push it in there so you'll have less transfer period you have to and right here I like to go a little heavy there that is just a spot I like to really bronze up for me at this point I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make circular motions 
going upward to pop those cheeks see the difference and it doesn't even take much all right taking that same color I'm gonna go back into that <clears throat> um, 402 brush and we're gonna contour our nose I'm gonna bring this right under the brow and bring it back that way okay kind of above the brow and into the brow and down all right so that is the nose now we're gonna go back into that powder right and I'm gonna get a small brush any kind of small brush this is the M 132 brush and I'm gonna put as much powder as I can on that brush right and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my nose This is why I don't really add in my foundation when I'm doing videos on just a uh, one product because it takes so long. It's so tedious. And we're going to let that set because we want the nose to really stand out, right? And then go ahead and take that, that brush and you want to blend because you don't want no harsh lines. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go in with a blush. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. This is Berry Adore. It has these three beautiful shades. Three beautiful shades, all right? Again, let's go back into the brush that we used to do our contour. This is the E53 brush, and we're going to clean it off, okay? I like to go in with these two right here, but mostly this orange color here. But we're going to go ahead and just dip into both of these, but more so into the orange. You can see that tap it off okay and let's go ahead and apply this sorry that's why I like to have my hair I like ponytails period I want to go ahead and put that on can you guys see it because I can see it <laughs> I'm gonna kind of bring it up you can clearly see that all right you can or you could do this sweet motion to start right right here and sweep it upward start right here and sweep upward that's also a really good trick so yeah that is the actual blush it could be more but like I said it's a summertime look and we wanted to just be really fresh and really summery so period like what all right so we have all that going on we have all that down all right ladies so if you want to get that really natural lash look with still having some length this is for you this is my lashes this is in the style this is in the style slapping and this is what they look like so those are the lashes all right let's go ahead and get into some highlight now this is the Too Faced you light up my life um, highlighter I gotta say this is one of the first highlighters I've ever tried, you guys. Like, very first highlighter. I did get a new highlighting brush. This is the M510 highlighting brush. This is a Morphe brush. I wanted to try it out. So we're gonna go ahead and just rub it in there. You can kind of see that product on there. And we're gonna go ahead and highlight. I like to highlight before I put on before I um, go in with my all over face powder, this is, I love this highlighter. It just makes you look so wet. It's nothing too harsh because you gotta remember, the sun is gonna bring out your natural oil. So you don't wanna go in with a really harsh highlighter. So that is beautiful compared to that side. You can already see some of my oils coming through. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on this side also. And then I take just a bit across the forehead, just a little bit, not too much and a little on my chin. Like I said, this highlighter is perfect. It doesn't, it's not too harsh. I like to highlight the sides of my nose. It's just something that I've been loving. Like, why hide my big nose? Why? All right, now we're gonna go in with another brush. I'm gonna take this M321 brush and rub that in there. 
And at this point, I want to take and dust off my nose. Okay. And I'm going to highlight my nose with this because the smaller the brush is, the more snatched the nose will look. That's just it. You want to take that same highlighter and, and do our inner corner. Nothing too harsh. All over face powder. We're going to go ahead and go on with this. This one is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use um, Complexion Powder. And this is in Mahogany. And I need a nice, big, fluffy brush. This is what it looks like. Most products warm up to the face and change its colors. I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over to set everything into place so we can go play, honey. I did go ahead and go in with the Hangover RX 3-in-1 setting spray. That is what I sprayed on my face. That's why I'm looking glowy. Like I said, don't worry about the powders and things like that because once you spray your face down, it's going to all come together. At this point, you can also go in with a mattifying spray. This one is by Morphe. This one's really good. Let's go ahead and clean these lips off and get into it. My favorite duo right now is this Morphe Duel. I'm going to go in with the lip pencil. This is Transitter, and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Okay, that's how I would line my lips. Something nice and simple and quick. Nothing, um, nothing that's too harsh. And I don't go in with the eyeliner or anything like that. I feel like for what? What is the point? Okay. And I'm going to go on with, this is Sweet Tea. I'm going to go on with Sweet Tea. This is um, matte. And I'm going to go ahead and place that on. And then kind of like that, right? And then go ahead and Push it in. All right. That is also my go-to lip. So I hope you guys really like that. Now, baby, what else do you need to do? You don't need no mascara or nothing on your lower lashes because, first of all, it's going to be hot outside. You just need this beautiful skin and this beautiful glow. All right, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, this is the final look. This is your quick and easy, fairly easy, you know, summertime foundation, summertime foundation go-to. And yeah, so this is what I came up with. And again, don't forget to go and shop my lashes. I'll leave my information right here. Okay, don't forget to go and shop my lashes. This is Silk Mink Lashes. This is the style that i have on today which is slapping so yeah go ahead and check me out check me out help a sister out you guys buy my products i can give you more content because i could buy more shit period point blank <laughs> all right so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i did give you guys some new tips and tricks or even something that you already seen before and you're like oh maybe it won't work for me but you see me and if you are my skin tone or my skin type or even just you know not a person to really go out and wear makeup in the sun because you feel like it's going to melt off. I hope you guys try some of my tricks. I really hope you guys do. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to come back for the next video because I have more to come, okay? Now, I love you guys. Bye.